Hey, I'm back. So this is a supplement to the Z uh, offset video, the 51 minute opus, just to show you exactly what it looks like as the nozzle touches the bed and establishes Z equals zero and what it sounds like. I want you to be able to at least see what it is to set Z equals zero without paper. And that you should be able to reproduce regardless of your system as long as you can see the nozzle and the nozzle can see you. It, the sound is what I use to cinch it because I can hear a slight tonal shift from the cooling fan noise from a higher pitch to a lower pitch the moment the nozzle touches the bed. And I'm getting to be a dab hand at tweaking that um, coupler on the right hand Z motor that I'm using to raise and lower the nozzle. I'm not actually using Z offset uh, controls in the firmware for this video but of course you would be if you were trying to use this technique. I'm just trying to help you hear what it sounds like and see what it looks like. We'll leave all the other details to 51 minutes of opus uh, less what you skip through. Okay. So let's see how well I can do. So here you can see the nozzle is clearly off the bed. The, uh, the nozzle and its reflection are not touching one another. You can see light uh, passing underneath the nozzle itself. And as I start to, as I lower the nozzle, you'll see the shadow approach the nozzle. So the virtual nozzle in the reflection and the real nozzle in the physical world are coming together until they kiss. The point where they kiss is where the point where the nozzle has now touched the bed. I turn it counterclockwise. See the nozzle getting closer and closer to its reflection. And at that point I hear the fan noise change tone and you're looking at the two re the reflection and the physical nozzle kissing one another. That is where Z equals zero. If you do that lowering with the Z offset buttons, so go to the calibrate screen, press the home button, let the nozzle go through its cycle, and when it presents itself to the bed, you're upping and downing the value of Z offset there with the plus and minus buttons until you see that result. Physical nozzle kisses the reflection of the nozzle, and the tone in the fan, if you can hear it, goes lower or louder, or both, but it's basically changing from the higher, quieter tone to the lower, louder tone as it kisses its reflection. That's where Z offset should be, because now you're at Z equals zero. That's clearly off the bed. Now it's touching its reflection and the tone has changed. That's touching a little stronger, so you should hear the tone change stronger in a lower buzz, right? Back off. It's off now. It's on where I like it. It's on where you might hear it. And there you go. There's the video I should have shot in the first 51 minutes. Uh, opus. The easy way to get to uh, Z offset that is correct. No paper involved. Just using the sound of the fan noise on the nozzle touching the bed and the sight that the no of the nozzle actually touching the bed. When you learn to recognize that, and you may have a, a favorite bed for that, uh, some are more reflective than others. If you're working on a mirror, it's a piece of cake. Um, if, if you're working on the black uh, PC, coating may be a little hard for you. But that's the trick. If you can get the um, cues clear on your machine, you know exactly when the nozzle has kissed its reflection and when it has not, then you'll know exactly how to set Z equals zero. Uh, use the calibrate menu, use the Z offset function to pre-place the 
the nozzle where it thinks zero is. That's what it's doing really. You press home. You see it probe twice to, uh, to calibrate where is home. And then it drops, it raises the nozzle up like a guillotine and drops it down to where it thinks is Z equals zero. And all you have to do is press plus and minus on the Z offset buttons until you hear those cues, you see those cues that you're looking for, and you have Z offset exactly where it needs to be. Good luck with that, and I hope that's, uh, that fleshes out what I should have done in the first 51 minutes. There's lots of good data in there. I'm not going to take the video down, but, but this one cue uh, wasn't emphasized properly in the video, so there you go. Bye-bye.